welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing the new sheet mask from Wishful Skin. I have been obsessed with the Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub, so when they came out with these sheet masks, I knew I had to try it and review it for you guys. I am not a fan of sheet masks, but I thought I would give these a try just because I love that scrub so much. And plus I wanted to review it for you guys in case you were on the fence of purchasing these or not. I just don't like the feeling of sheet masks on my face for 20, 30 minutes. I feel like it's just suffocating my face. I feel claustrophobic. So I'm already not a fan of sheet masks, but let's see if these babies are worth it. So I'm gonna start off with the Thirst Trap Cocoon Mask, and already the word cocoon is stressing me out. So this has aloe vera, hollyhock rose, caffeine, and sodium hyaluronic. Hyaluronic? And it's suitable for all skin types. It's supposed to give instant hydration, softer skin, dewy glow, and is soothing. So there is a lot of product on here. Okay, so you gotta remove this from this kind of like cheesecloth looking thing. Ooh, it's really cold. really cold <laughs> right away it just feels really cooling it's really cold on my skin and and the one thing I hate about sheet masks is this lip one right here that's what makes me feel like most claustrophobic but I just like lift it up a little bit one thing I really like right off the bat is that the face mask itself isn't big so it's not going into my hairline. I just dyed my hair, so I was worried about that. It says to leave this on for 20 minutes, so that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna take this off. And then it says to rub the rest of the product into your skin, not to rinse it off. And like I said in the beginning, I am not a face mask kind of gal. This one surprisingly didn't really bother me. I was cleaning some makeup brushes in that 20 minutes and I didn't really feel like I was suffocating. I did take off a little lip part for the last, I don't know, 10 minutes just cause I just don't like that part on sheet masks for some reason. My skin does feel really moisturized. The product is still sinking into my skin so it's a little wet still and I'm just gonna bring some down on my neck as well. And I was on the website, so I thought I'd read a little bit about what this mask is supposed to do. So it's mostly for moisturizing your skin. The aloe and sodium hyaluronic soothe and hydrate your skin, while the allantone and niacinamide, <laughs> I don't know how to say these words, brighten and protect. And there's also caffeine in this mask, so it's perfect for depuffing and energizing your skin. And my skin just feels really fresh and really hydrated and energized. I bet that's the caffeine in it. Like it feels like really good. And when the wind hits my face, it feels cooling still. So this mask is pretty cool. I'm really surprised I didn't feel like claustrophobic in it. It had the right amount of ingredients in it, so I really like that one. Now I'm going to try the Chin Lift Sculpting Sheet Mask, and this has peppermint, and niacinamide, peptides, and a dinocyne. It's supposed to give you a lifting effect enhanced jawline, sculpted appearance, and hydration. This one looked kind of crazy, but I wanted to try it, so here I am. So it says, start with a clean, dry face. That other mask has fully absorbed into my skin. To avoid discomfort during use, pre-stretch the mask lengthwise by tugging at each end. Let me take off this film. Now I'm gonna stretch it. This isn't gooey at all, you guys. Like, there is no goo on here. 
Not like the other sheet masks where you can really feel the product on there. Start at chin and pulling upward, secure mask around the ears. This mask is weird, but this is what it looks like. It doesn't feel uncomfortable around your ears, like it's not like tugging down at my ears, so it's not like super tight and restraining. I don't feel that at all. It just feels like kind of weird to have a mask on my chin. <laughs> so this one stays on for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go clean the rest of my makeup brushes and see how this holds up and I'll be right back. Okay you guys, I'm back and this mask is kind of weird to me. It keeps lifting right here. I don't know, like I just wanna take it off. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> is my double chin gone? <laughs> so, I'm gonna read a little bit about this mask on her website. So it says it's supposed to give instant results and I don't know. I do feel like it's really refreshed, but I don't feel like it did anything to my jawline really. And it does say it has a cooling effect. That I can feel the cooling effect and it's probably because of the peppermint in it. So it does feel like really refreshing along my jawline and chin. And the peppermint is supposed to help with tightening the skin and calming redness, which I have a lot of redness in my face, so I don't know if it really calmed that down or not. My thoughts on these sheet masks, I really enjoyed the Thirst Trap sheet mask. It didn't make me feel like claustrophobic like a lot of sheet masks do. And I felt the results right when I put on the mask. It just felt really cooling to my skin and I can notice that it really calmed down redness that I had in my face. I did have a breakout right here that was really red before I did this sheet mask and now it's not red anymore, so that's a plus. So I can really tell that my skin feels really hydrated and really refreshed. I really liked that cooling sensation that it gave, so I really like that mask. The chin lift sheet mask, I can do without. I don't really see the purpose or anything that it really did. It was kind of annoying having it around my ears and it kept lifting on my neck. So, I don't know. I'm glad I tried it out just to let you guys know how I felt about it, but I will not be repurchasing that. I'm gonna go purchase more of the Thirst Trap face mask. They're only $9. The Chin Lift is $9 as well, but I can do without the Chin Lift mask. I really hope this video helped you guys out if you were thinking about purchasing these sheet masks. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love doing makeup and beauty reviews and also makeup tutorials. I am very active on Instagram and now TikTok, so I will leave all those links to my social media handles down below. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out, hippies.